Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what near future actions the person that is on your mind will be taking toward you from now up until the beginning of April. This reading is for every one of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. And quick message for all of you that have Instagram, if you are following me on Instagram, please make sure that you are not following the scam page okay i have a scam page that um has really stolen all of my posts um they have my picture listed okay and it is not me that person has been reaching out to people trying to get people to purchase readings some people have purchased readings and just so you know it's not me my one and only instagram page is in the description box of this video Okay, so if you're following any other Mystic Goddess Instagram page besides the one in the description box, you are following a scam page. So I want all of you to be aware of that, okay? All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of this person's near future action toward you, we have fights, the three of swords, the Knight of Cups, and we also have the World card in reverse, all right? So there's a few things going on in regards to what this person has up their sleeve, okay? They're going to try and start a fight with you, okay? And it's mainly to see if you are still wanting to be with them. It's crazy that this energy also came out in the previous reading um, regarding their true feelings for you, okay? We saw that. We saw the same energy in that reading. But yeah, this person's going to come toward you with some type of drama. Um, they're going to come toward you trying to say something that they feel would hurt you but i feel as though it's gonna be in regards to them dating someone else or that they've gotten into a new relationship or something of that nature it's almost they it's almost like they want you to feel like they've replaced you when in reality they're gonna end up coming back toward you because they feel as though the two of you have unfinished business okay so yeah this person wants you to feel some type of way they're going to come in with some type of communication to try and ruffle your feathers when in reality, they're just going to end up coming back toward you. Okay, this is crazy. They definitely want to cause some type of damage or they want you to feel damaged. And it's mainly because they feel damaged within themselves. So they're projecting that onto you. It's like they almost feel as though this plan that they have is going to make you want them more. Or it's like if you've ended things with them, them or if you've tried to close out a cycle with them, they feel as though making you think that they're dating someone else or telling you about someone else that they're dating it's like they think that's going to bring about a new beginning between the two of you. Now, for some of you, this is someone that they've met online or is someone that um, may live at a distance from them. OK, now for some of you, a few of you, they could actually live with this person. And if they do, they still feel as though things are not over between the two of you. OK, so, yeah, when it comes to this person with this king of pentacles and four of pentacles energy this person wants to affect you being grounded they feel as though you're very stable that you're doing very well for yourself a lot of you are focused on your career focused on business focused on your home life material possessions just living a good life comfort okay being stable that's what a lot of you are focused on and i feel as though um a lot of you have been holding back from this person especially when it comes to communication so this person has this plot to come in to say something to put you on guard all right it's gonna be something that they feel will get you in your feelings because it's gonna be in regards to a new beginning but see just as fast as that new beginning happens for them it's gonna end all right so it's like they're coming in with this energy of telling you something 
that they feel will make you want to stay with them or make you want to hold on to them. And that's basically what they're doing. It's like they're trying to see if you, after they say whatever they say, they feel as though it's going to make you want to hold on to them. Like, you know, like you're not going to want to let them go. Like, please don't leave me. Please don't be with someone else. When in reality, it's going to be a turnoff and it's going to make you set up stronger boundaries. Okay. But yeah, this plan is definitely going to backfire. For some of you, this is going to end up being the last straw. For others of you, you won't even care, okay? Because you are focused on your new beginning. And that's another reason why this person is doing this. It's because for some of you, they feel like you're hiding secrets or you're moving in secret, okay? So they're in their feelings because they feel as though... Um, Things are ending between the two of you or have ended because you're focusing on you. So, yeah, they're coming in to try and ruffle your feathers. Spirit wants you to use your intuition when it comes to this person. Some of you, your intuition is being transformed or there's some spiritual gifts that are being heightened or um, you're going to be getting more spiritual gifts. Okay. So make sure I heard dreams. Make sure that you pay close attention to your dreams. Also, um, in regards to this new start, there are some things that this person is hiding from you. See, whoever they, they start dealing with, they have no intentions for it to be long term. I don't care if they even marry that person. You'd be surprised how far a person will go to try and make someone else jealous. Okay. So there are some things that this person is hiding there are some things that they don't want you to know in regards to their true motives. Hmm. With this King of Pentacles energy being here, it lets me know that this person doesn't plan on going anywhere. It's almost like they feel as though the two of you will always have something to deal, have something to do with each other or that they can come back whenever they get ready. So make sure you protect yourself if you were to accept communication from this person. Some of you have them blocked, but for others of you, this person is going to be very strategic in regards to what they say to you, okay, to try and get you in your feelings. Yeah, for some of you, they're going to tell you they're dating someone else and that they're happy and all of that, when in reality, it couldn't be the furthest from the truth. I feel like um, this person may, whoever they get involved with, there may be an age difference between them and that person. For others of you, they may try to end up going back to an ex, but it's going to be a very burdensome situation for them. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that new relationship is going to be a burden. They're going to have to put up with a lot in regards to that other person. It's like they're making this foolish decision to deal with this other lover, hoping that it's going to cause you to be burdened and all in your feelings when the whole time you're over here healing. The two of you are also very different. One of you is one of you are coming off as spiritual. The other one is coming off as more religious. But I also feel as though this person is someone that doesn't practice what they preach. Okay. See, look, even if they were to marry or if they did marry that other person, it's going to end in a divorce and it's going to happen suddenly. Now, for others of you, they're going to get connected to that other person and when that person does not overextend themselves to this person they're gonna break things off okay they're gonna break things off with them so i do see that for those of you when this person comes in telling you that they moved on they want to hurt your ego it's like they want to destroy or defeat you in some way, shape, or form. But when they see that you're still moving on, it's going to cause a little confusion within them. And that's when they're going to come back in wanting to recover the connection and wanting to reconcile. But for some of you, you're losing or you've lost attraction for this person. Okay. See, this other lover that they're getting involved with, things are not going to go anywhere with them and that other person. They may even move in with that other person, but they're going to feel stuck in their head because of you. 
They're going to still be thinking about you. But for some of you, I feel like the connection between the two of you, even though it may still be strong, this person has done so much. It doesn't feel the same anymore. There's been a disconnect here. Hmm. Wow. So, yeah, after the breakup that they have with that other person, they're going to come in for a new opportunity trying to make things right. But I feel as though a lot of you are going to have your guard up. And it's mainly because you're tired of dealing with this person's crowd. Like, who does this? It's like they're going to tell you that they're with someone else or that they're going to move on with someone else. All to start a fight with you. Okay. All to start a fight with you. When in reality, it's like they're looking for what you're going to say about it. Like they feel as though, well, if he or she fights with me, that means they still want to be with me. That's that mean that means we still have a chance. They're trying to gain clarity because they feel like you're moving in silence, especially if things ended between the two of you or even if things are on bad terms, like they feel like. They don't know what's going on with you. So they're trying to gain some clarity and they're going to try and say something to make you um, feel some type of way. See, it's all games. They're going to make it seem like this is the best thing that's ever happened to them. Like they offered to someone else or someone else offered to them, but it's all to make you feel defeated or to make you feel like they won up to you or it's all for their ego. But see, this is pride before the fall. This is pride before the fall because this person, instead of putting themselves, putting you in your head. Now, some of you are going to get in your head, but at the same time, it's like it's going to put them in a situation where they feel stuck like they're not gonna get anywhere by doing this but they're still plotting they're plotting on a way to um to make you bothered that's what this is and whoever they're going toward that person isn't even loyal that person is very selfish and they're gonna end up stressed out and see, one thing about this person is they thought that you would always be there, okay? They thought that they would always be able to go back to you. But see, with this Queen of Pentacles energy in reverse, it lets me know that you guys, a lot of you are, and I wouldn't even say you're being selfish with yourself. I feel like you're just pouring into yourself. Like you're giving your own self the loyalty that you were giving this person, it's like you're putting you first now. And that's how it should be. So, yeah. They're going to also end up, whoever they're getting with that person may have financial issues. Or either this person has financial issues. And when they get involved with this other person, it's not going to work out. Because that other person is not going to be very giving toward them. Or someone's going to stop giving to the other person. And one of the parties are going to end up getting pissed off. So it's like, to me, it's a, it's a connection where it's all about money or stability or one person trying to see what they can get out of the other person. Someone may not know that one is poor or doesn't have much. Someone's going to be drained of their resources. And once they, once they're used up, the other person is they're they're running for the hills. This is sick. This is really sick. It's actually very disturbing. I feel like this person just feels entitled to you. They feel entitled to your energy. They feel like they can come in and, your, in and out of your life whenever they get ready. But this is all... To make you feel some type of way. To make you jealous. It's almost like they want to break your heart. They want to break your heart. And the saddest part about it. 
is they're th they're thinking that they're hurting you but all of this is going to end up backfiring on them and they're going to come running back toward you for a new beginning oh my goodness all right let's see what else comes out give me more holy spirit in regard to this person's near future actions for my viewers from now up until the beginning of april of 2022 what near future actions would this person be taking toward my viewers when it comes to love from now up until the beginning of april of 2022 two more shuffles I feel like if they have if they do have social media, they do a lot of online dating. Like they try to talk to different people online. When with the world card being in reverse, it lets me know that they don't see those people as completing them. It's like they're just trying to waste time or make you feel some type of way. All right, so we have risk, all right? So this person's going to be taking a risk that they feel will make them be able to celebrate. Something that they think that they're going to be celebrating about, okay? And it's more than likely in regards to this risky behavior that they're taking with this third party. Give me more in regards to this person's near future actions. Thank you. We have waiting. So for a lot of you, this person, even though they're doing all of this, they're still going to be waiting on you. Okay, it's almost like they feel as though this is going to cause you to return to them. I don't know what what could possess this person to think that this would turn you on. They're hopeful that this is going to bring you back toward them or attract you to them. What else when it comes to this person's near future actions toward my viewers? All right, so we have restricted, okay? So when it comes to you guys, this person wants you to feel as though you cannot move on. Hmm. Player is at the bottom of the deck. So it's like this person wants you to feel as though they're playing the field, okay? Like they're dealing with someone else. Give me more in regards to this person's near future actions choices and love strikes see they want you to think that they've made a choice and chosen someone else and like they you know um struck gold like they found the one when in reality this isn't even someone that they um are truly interested in it's like they're just trying to waste time or make you jealous Give me more. What in their future actions with this person? Thank you. Chaser. See? They want you to chase them. And for some of you, when it doesn't work, they're going to come in chasing you. They're going to come in chasing you. This is so pitiful. This is so sad and pitiful. So they know that doing this is a risk, but they're willing to take the risk because they feel as though it's almost like they're tired of um, waiting for you to make the move or for some of you, they feel as though you've had them waiting for a while and you haven't returned or you haven't been fighting for the connection or showing any signs that, you know, you're, that you're going to rekindle things with them or make things work with them. So they're coming in with this energy. But it's all to make you think that their heart is restricted like someone has their heart. When in reality, it couldn't be the furthest from the truth. It's all a game. Give me one more card for this person's near future actions toward my viewers. Thank you. Control. See? It's all about control. It's all about control. They feel like this risk will make them have your heart on a string. Like it's going to make you bend the way that they want you to bend. When in reality, it's going to make you, it's going to be a turnoff. It's going to be a complete turnoff. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. 
All right. I'm definitely going to do an extended to this. I'm going to clarify these cards and see exactly what in the world this person, why in the world they think that this would work. I'm also going to get the outcome of all of this. So those of you that are Mystic VIP or if you want to become a Mystic VIP, the link will be in the description box. I'm sorry. The link will be in the comment section of this video. I'll pin it to the top so that you guys will be able to see it. The Mystic VIP is $4.99 per month in order for you to be able to view all of my extended readings. And these extended readings are timeless. So whenever you view them, it'll be the right time for you. Okay. Um... Also, if you are a Mystic VIP, keep in mind that you can access the extended readings by clicking on the membership tab at the top of the channel. Or when you go to the home page of my channel, you'll see where it says perks and you can click there. Now, if you click on perks or membership and none of the extended readings are there, make sure that you have upgraded your membership from a Mystic VIP from a Mystic member to a Mystic VIP. OK, because you have to be a VIP in order to access the standards. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.